All right, I'm at Lowe's right now. Gonna pick up some paint for that wagon. I'll show you guys how to do it on the cheap. I'm gonna move this cancer out of the way. And we'll see. Uh, so it's very important, like these uh, these high gloss ones right here. Not the high gloss, but these uh, metallic paints. Those are the ones you want with the paper bags. You can really like huff on it and get real fucked up. You gotta buy some some like black or something to go with it, so it doesn't look so suspicious. So. Flat black, no. Can't really see. I got my sunglasses on. Black gloss black. This is the black I use. It uh, it goes real good. It looks kind of like the Honda trim. I got two cans of this to get me real fucked up when I paint it. These are six dollars a piece, and I think these ones are uh, same like six dollars a piece. You can't just buy the metallic because then they won't sell it to you. They'll ask for your ID. But if you buy like some some different colors with the two, they won't suspect anything. You know, I I don't have pants on today, so I can't steal any cans. But usually when you go to Lowe's. It's all open. It's not locked up like Home Depot. So you can usually jack a couple cans and pay for a couple cans. But not today. So I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get some uh, some more paper and some more tape, and then we'll uh, we'll add everything up and I'll show you how to paint that shit. So I got all my paint and everything. As long as you uh, talk to the cashier like like uh, you're a normal human being and don't smoke meth and uh, huff paint, they won't fuck with you. They usually won't ask for your ID or anything like that. Cause you know what I mean. You can't have the cops fucking with you. So I got all my shit. I'm gonna go back to the house and I'll uh, lay everything out, show you how that goes. So this is everything I got to paint the car with. A uh, couple of things of sandpaper. Uh, I think they're like three dollars a piece, so like six bucks right there. Uh, Fifteen dollars for a spray gun. This Harbor Freight. I mean, they work all right. I usually just use them one time. Then I'll just throw them away because only fifteen bucks. Uh, sander, because uh, this one broke. Fucking piece of shit. So I got a new sander with a warranty. So in like two months, I'll take this broken one back, and then I'll have two sanders. That so was uh, $36, I think. Tarp, $7 a piece. I use a car canopy, you'll see that. Uh, tape, $5, $5, no. $5 for the tape, it's like $3 for that. $5 a piece for the cans. So I spent $103 right here. This is everything I need to paint it. This is like the most expensive thing for me because I, I already have the paint and I already have a compressor and I have everything to set it up. So if you like have a garage and a compressor and, a, and your own sandpaper, you can do it real cheap. And it's gonna look way better than spray painting your car because there's this uh, I Breaks Nicks. I think it's his Instagram. He hit me up, which is cool. I mean, it's like an RX7. And he was talking about and asking how I paint shit. And I told him, and then I look at his car and he spray painted it, which is terrible because it has like, it has like zebra stripes. It's like for an extra $100 or $200 more, you can have like a decent paint job that's not gonna look like trash. I'm gonna finish sanding this wagon down. I've already started on this side. This side is pretty much almost done. Uh, the roof's done. I just got to do the hood and the other side and then uh, we're going to wash the car really well, let it dry and then we'll paint the trim and we'll go from there. Just finished sanding it all down. Then I went back through and hosed it off. Then I went through with some soap and some water and a scrub pad. Cleaned it all off really good. Now I washed it off one more time then I'm just going to let it dry. I'm going to tape off the headlights and the bumper lights and then I'm just going to paint the trim. I'm not going to tape anything else off but I'll just paint the trim tonight, let it dry overnight and then I'll get the mess shack set up in the morning. And then we'll go back through and tape off all the windows and everything, but I'll let it dry. I'm not going to film me spray painting the trim because it's going to be, uh, so it's going to be going down, but spray paint for the trim is not bad because it's like a small surface. I wouldn't recommend trying to like paint the hood or paint the roof with spray cans because it's not going to come out good. I don't care how good you think you are. Oh, shit. What'd you do yesterday? Huh? This motherfucker ate some of my paper, but I used, uh, three cans. This son of a bitch. Why you gotta fuck with my shit, boy? I used three cans of paint. I did all the trim. It's uh, 5.30 a.m. right now. Ah, this motherfucker. Why you gotta eat my shit, boy? But I'm gonna tape everything off and get the paint booth set, all, set up before it gets too hot and I can't paint. But, uh, let's get to it. Finally got it all set up. It took me like, uh, two hours or something like that to tape everything off. And I just got these, uh, like canopy tents. I've got two of them and uh, like five tarps around just hanging up just so I can't get like any any big pieces of dirt or anything like that. Uh, I usually put some more tarps on the floor but I don't have any more. They uh, harbor freight so they don't last too long but at least a little bit try to keep the uh, dust up. Try to keep the dust from coming up but uh, it's all ready. I'm going to mix the paint and then uh, clean, out the, clean out the harbor freight spray gun because they got like oil in them and shit like rust preventative or some shit. So I'm just going to mix the two. They're both single stage. Uh, I think it should work out fine. 
I'm like, I'm not a fucking paint expert, obviously. Like I do shit in my backyard, but uh, it should come out fine, hopefully, because they're like this, pretty much the same shit. So a crazy purple and a maroon. I'm gonna mix it together, and then uh, then I've got the reducer. So I've got the hardener, I got the reducer, everything to go. I'm just gonna mix these up, shake them really well, clean the paint gun out with that reducer, and then we'll spray down the base coat. I don't know how well you can pick it up on the camera, but uh, it doesn't show very good. I'm gonna do phone, or maybe a camera, but that's uh, that's another. Uh, that's something else, but I'm really just dis disappointed with the tape. It must have been like an old roll because I know I have a bunch of these just lying around and shit, but it's like It's starting to come up here, which fucking sucks. So I'm gonna fix some shit Other than that it came out real good. Just gotta watch out for like little things like this fucking mosquito all up in my paint and shit, but Get that out of there. And other than that sh should be good uh, About to put down another second uh, coat I look even better. Just gotta get these fucking bugs out of my paint, but it's all good backyard paint job you know so uh this is uh with the purple in it i usually just paint this shit every time and this is just the maroon by itself i don't know how well it picks up but uh this has been there like three years now at this point really terrible any videos uh the paint came out really good on this car it had a couple uh like rocks in it and shit or dirt overall wasn't too bad i uh, tinted the windows and lowered it i didn't really film any of that stuff i'm sorry i'm bad at this but yeah, that's a $100 paint job, if I remember right. I painted it like three, um, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, maybe a month and a half ago. But finally sound it. It's real dirty right now, so the paint probably looks like shit. Uh, roads closed, pizza boy. Find another way home. Peace, pimps.